The 92nd annual United States Conference of Mayors meeting is happening right now in Kansas City, Missouri. The bipartisan group of mayors from over 200 cities across the country are meeting to discuss a range of issues, including homelessness, gun violence, and how to navigate the 2024 election. The goal of the group is to engage directly with leaders from Washington to ensure that federal policies address the priorities of cities nationwide. Joining us now, the mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, Democrat Quentin Lucas, and the mayor of Oklahoma City, Republican David Holt. He is the second vice president for the U.S. Conference of Mayors. Mayor Holt, let's start with you. Uh, it is a notably bipartisan movement here at a time when that is pretty rare in this nation's politics. Talk to us about why that's so important and a few of the most pressing issues cities across this country face. Well, first of all, thank you for having us on. And uh, I'm speaking to you from Kansas City with my colleague here, Mayor Lucas, and he's a Democrat and I'm a Republican. And as you say, that is pretty unique, but we mayors think of ourselves as being pretty unique. Um, we work together. We have a, uh, you know, an unbreakable bipartisan bond. We fight for cities. And, you know, the issues that we care about right now are, are homelessness, uh, gun violence, mental health infrastructure, I mean, it's it's economy and education. It's the basic things. It's the issue matrix that we think all Americans should be passionate about and all state and federal candidates this election year should be passionate about. Uh, and we think we practice politics in a different way than people do at other levels of government. We think we just try to get things done and we bring people together in our communities regardless of their party registration to do that. So. Uh, we do pride ourselves on our bipartisanship, and, and we recognize that's kind of different uh, in the current political environment, uh, but we uh, we think that that's what makes us special, and we think we're, frankly, the, the, the best class of political leaders in this country right now, and we're getting things done in our cities. Mary Lucas, a question for you from someone who knows Missouri politics well. Claire <laughs> McCaskill. Hey, good morning, Quentin. Um, let, let me, um, it, rather than talk about our world champion chiefs or how well the Royals are doing, I want to focus on something that may blow up a little bit of the bipartisan nature of this appearance, and that is the hypocrisy that you see across the country in red states where state legislatures who t like to say that local is best and local government should control their own destinies I know you've battled with a Missouri legislature that wants to come in over your shoulder and tell you what you can and cannot do in Kansas City, uh, understanding that just like most states in Missouri, the economic engine of our state is Kansas City and St. Louis. Urban areas make up over 80% of the GDP in America. And so what are the strategies you're using with this really extre extreme group of Republican legislatures that want to paint, along with their candidate for president, the urban areas as hellscapes? Well, Claire, if you keep talking like that, I would say you should run for office again because you hit the nail no. on the head. <laughs> and it's and it's something, frankly, that came up yesterday in our discussion. The political independent mayor of Reno, Nevada, was talking about ways we can address gun violence. And she mentioned in her list of things, gun buybacks being a reasonable tool. She looked at me and I said, well, frankly, we can't do it in Missouri because the Missouri legislature has preempted the opportunity for cities that address gun violence each day to address these tools. If they're being honest, to Senator McCaskill's point, you have Republican mayor. Democrats and independents around the country who are saying, just let us solve the issues in our cities. We are coming together to address things like homelessness. We are coming together to address things like gun violence. And repeatedly what you are seeing is state legislators saying, we can do better. I mean, it's the most interesting thing because often people will run campaigns against your cities, but then they want to have control of absolutely everything they're doing otherwise. I'm going to go to Mayor Holt with a question, but first I want to say, Mayor Lucas, we're burying the lead a little bit because you have huge news on your Twitter. You have a new baby to welcome, so congratulations to you and your wife and your family. And Mayor Holt, I just wanted to ask you, what has been really the top issue and solutions, frankly, that have been proposed when it comes to the homelessness and housing crisis that so many cities around the country are grappling with this year? Yeah, certainly. Great question. And and by the way, I, one quick thing. Uh, if Senator McCaskill feared she would drive a wedge between us on the issue of local control, she did not. Our bipartisanship 
uh, remain strong on that issue. Uh, Republican mayors feel the same way that we we believe those decisions are best made locally. But to the question of homelessness, I mean, obviously, this is one of the most vexing issues because there's so many there's so many inten- tensions I think inherent in uh, the American experiment. You know, it's a free country. And I always say, like, I'm a law school dean. Uh, Mayor Lucas is a law school professor. You know, I, we understand that that actually has some serious legal underpinnings. And it means that you've got to really have a lot of options and kind of meet people where they are. Um, and I think, you know, one could talk about this for an hour. But, you know, I think if you look to cities like Houston, that's who we're in. Oh, we've lost the uh, mayor's uh, feed there, but let's go to you, Mayor Lucas, um, uh, to give you the final word here. This is obviously a contentious election year. We spent time earlier in the show about how Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for president, often demonizes big cities in this country, particularly those that are run by African-American mayors or have large black populations. What can be done right now to just sort of to, to combat that rhetoric um, with, you know, doing it with statistics or the rest? How do you sort of change the image that some Americans have unfairly of our nation's big cities? I think you have to push back and you have to answer. Yesterday, I spent time with the mayor of of, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a black mayor, a Democrat, who said, I'm from Milwaukee and I'm proud, pushing back against President Trump, who will be in Milwaukee in just several weeks. In your earlier conversation, you talked about some of the craziness and how that is baked into the Trump era and everything that is Donald Trump. I think it's important and vital for cities and particularly mayors to say, no, we are not dumpster fires. We are exceptional places. We are places that can attract World Cups like my city or conferences of mayors or the Republican National Convention like Milwaukee. And so I think when you are talking about cities like Milwaukee, Detroit, Grand Rapids, so many others, particularly in swing states, but all of them, we say we are coming up with solutions to America's real problems vastly more than you're seeing from state legislatures, and I'll say with respect, vastly more perhaps than the ravings at times of our former president. Uh, Mayor Holt, we have your shot back. Just want to give you a chance to to finish your thought there. Sure. I don't know if I lodge my complaints about the hotel Wi-Fi with Mayor Lucas or someone else, but we'll work on that locally. <laughs> no, I uh, I just want to say, I mean, it, with homelessness, you got to meet people where they are, and we in Oklahoma City are actually looking to Houston. It's a great model right now. The question was, what is kind of maybe. Uh, one of the best solutions for that. And we feel like you you got to come into these encampments with all the wraparound services that are necessary, whether it's mental health, substance abuse, job training services. Obviously, housing is the most important thing. Um, that's very expensive, though. I mean, really solving the problem is expensive. and um, But that's what people want. And I find that that's where you have common ground on the left and the right on the issue of homelessness, is that everybody wants these people off the streets. Um, and you got to dedicate some resources to it. And you also obviously also have to work on the overall issue of affordable housing in your community. It's a it's a very complex issue and it's not easy. If it were easy, it would have been solved already. But certainly mayors are at the tip of the spear and we're at places like this sharing those best practices with each other. Really important work being done. Kansas City, Missouri Mayor Quentin Lucas and Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt. Our thanks to you both.